Sky TV News at noon. I'm LAJ Chidima, and here are the reports. House of Representatives sue for departure and cooperation as it received a newly appointed Chinese ambassador to Nigeria. Members of the Committee on Foreign Affairs House of Representatives on Tuesday, April 27, 2021, received the recently appointed Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, His Excellency Mr. Xiu Jiachun, and some members of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Abuja. In a release signed by Special Advisor Media and Public Affairs to the Chairman Committee on Foreign Affairs, House of Representative Nkem Ayacha Lafia, while highlighting the mutual benefit and two countries have enjoyed in the last 50 years of their diplomatic engagement, ranging from technology, security, education, construction, as well as cultural exchange and trade. Chairman Committee on Foreign Affairs House of Representatives, Honorable Dr. Yusuf Buba Yakub, described the current state of affairs between them as, as satisfactory, while recommending the planned production of the COVID-19 vaccine in Nigeria by the Chinese government. Honor Buba said in the initiative would not, no doubt open the doors for further relations and deeper cooperation between the two countries in the years ahead. He expresses deep that, expressed hope that efforts and development activities by the Chinese in Nigeria in the area of security, industrialization, ICT, infrastructural development, hosting of annual trade fairs, a development of more free trade zones in the country, as well as realizing the objectives of building manufacturing hubs for jobs. Creation in the national amending youth will go a long way at enhancing cooperation and ties between the two countries and mitigating some of, some of our current security challenges. In his remarks, the new ambassador, His Excellency Siu Jack Chan, informed the committee that since arriving in Nigeria in late March, he has enjoyed and experienced the hospitality nurtured by the first 50 years during which his country and Nigeria have worked together. He promised to build on all the goodwill of the past 50 years, which he has inherited in his new job, to enhance cooperation and friendship between China and Nigeria in all areas already identified, and as they specifically related to his 51 agenda of infrastructure, ICT, imports and exports, integration and industrialization enhancement, while promising that his country will continue to be a reliable, responsible and trustworthy partner to Nigeria. Ambassador Jichan said he could work for the both countries that are known to be leaders in both Africa and Asia through sheer experience meeting the demands of the people. On still on the news, Buhari hosts secret meeting President Mohammad Buhari is currently presiding over a security meeting at the State House in Abuja. The meeting is taking place at the First Lady Conference Room as renovation in the Council Chamber is still ongoing. In attendance are the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibajo, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Post Mustafa, Chief of Staff to the President, Professor Ibrahim Bam Gambari, and Defense Minister, Major General Bashiri Magashi, and National Security Advisor, Major General Babangana Mugono. Others present are the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awara Zabari, and Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Ishaka Oladayo Amo. The Acting Inspector General Fleet, IGP Usman Akali, is also in attendance. On business news, oil hit six weeks high, $68.7 as dollar weakens. The international oil benchmark, Brent crude, reached its highest in six weeks on Thursday as strong USA economy data, a weak dollar and overall expected recovery in demand as with queries about the impact of increased COVID-19 cases in Brazil and India. Brent crude, crude rose by $1.2 to $68.47 per barrel by 6.59 p.m. Nigerian time, while the United States West Texas Intermediate rose by $1.7 to $64.93 per barrel, according to Energy Intel. 
Reuters reported that oil prices have maintained an increase for three consecutive days. The increase in U.S. oil demand came amid the market assessment of improved economic conditions, as, as per U.S. Energy Information Administration report said, S&P Global Plus. The head of commodity strategy at ING Group, Watson Pat Peterson, and its senior commodity strategist, Win Yon Yon, we are quoted as saying, and I quote, while demanding appears to be trending in the right direction in the U.S., there are still clear concerns over the impact that the surge in COVID-19 cases in India is having on fuel demand. On foreign news, as Indians crematorium overflow with COVID-19 victims, as Indians second wave of coronavirus sweep through, through the country, bodies are piling up faster than workers can cremate and build new Paris before the pandemic refused to cremate it. Ten people said Jetan Sai Shanti, head of the Samapri crem crematorium in eastern New Delhi. Now we cremate 100 to 120 a day. On Thursday, Jai Prit Prakash, the may mayor of North Delhi, wrote a letter to Delhi Chief Minister Avin Kaiwal asking that the forest department provide steady supply. In the meantime, families are having to pay for the wood to burn their relative bodies. Many see no choice, so they jockey for space as crowded crematorium. Cremation is considered as an important part of Hindu funeral rites due to the belief that the body must be destroyed for the soul to proceed to reincarnation. On sports news, Team Nigeria out of world relay over visa snag. Nigeria will miss out of the World Athletic Relay, which starts in Silesia, Poland, Saturday over visa issue, the Punch Report. Our, our correspondent gathered on Thursday that the Nigerian team was yet to secure Polish visa with a day left before the event. The World Relay serves as a qualifier for the relay ev event for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics for teams that are yet to be qualified. Nigeria have not qualified for any relay at the 2020 Olympics. According to a source who spoke to our correspondents on a condition of anonymity, the athletes have been stranded in Abuja after submitting their passport for visa at the American Embassy. They, the sport ministry, took those athletes to the US, US Embassy and thought they could get their passport back same day, but they couldn't. The passports are not out after four days and the athletes are stranded in their hotel. Nobody knows what is happening, and there is confusion everywhere, as source said. And that's all we can take on the Gallery TV news at noon. To join us at 4 for more updates, I'm Elige Chidema. Thanks for watching. <music>